reaction video y'all it's your boy cam back at it again with another reaction video y'all if you're not a part of the cam fam make sure you hit them up and subscribe button if you like the video hit them up and like button because we going up 2020 yeah today we are reacting to tom's white boy i had somebody telling me look spamming me this song and like i said i give the people what they want y'all let me know what you want me to react to next in the comment section below um yeah i'm i'm interested i've never heard this song before um yeah, I, I really don't know what I'm getting myself into, but I also reacted to Hell of It and Exposed and Dear Rappers. I enjoyed all of those songs. They're up here in the queue, so feel free to enjoy. And yeah, let's hop into it. I cannot feel guilty for that I didn't do, but I can understand the reasons why you think that I should. Yeah, I'm white, but I never put your neck in no noose. And I never burnt a cross or hit my face with a hood You can't just label me racist cause I'm related to people who did some terrible Way back before I was alive My parents brought me up to treat everyone as an equal I refuse to feel ashamed cause of my pretty blue eyes And not white supremacist Anyone who labels me as that because of my family genetics The hatred for Caucasians is so pathetic Go be proud that you're black, but don't hate me for some credit I'm not the white devil, neo-Nazi cop trying to pull the trigger You can call me what you want, but I'd still never say The white race as a whole ain't the enemy There's racist white people, but we're far from that collectively White boy, don't say that White boy, oh you so bad White boy, you wish you were black White boy, dear white boy on some cognac sitting next to me I don't assume that every black's favorite drink is Hennessy I don't dislike Tanisha cause her first name isn't Stephanie not only is that wrong it's a waste of energy ivory or ebony 45 or 17 we all bleed the same Martin Luther King or Kennedy they're angry I'm reciting the facts he's white and he raps and stole the culture right from the facts okay he's fire but we lit the flame he's siphoning gas so this corny little honky man the whitey is whack you letting history perpetuate the hatred within and then you paint me with the brush you painted slave owners with yeah white boy don't say that white boy oh you so bad white boy you wish you were black white boy be a white boy Sister, an auntie, and uncle, and a grandma that I picture when you're openly hating. And God willing, one day I'll have a kid of my own. I refuse to let you blindly hate my wife or my baby, so go ahead and hate the races. I pray for their extinction. If you want to hate the white people, just make the distinction between the ones who want the best for everyone, regardless, and the ones who built the system just to smother you with hardship. Stop before you say it. I know what you've been thinking. How's a straight white male in 2018? You're making me the villain by demonizing my race For things I didn't do and decisions I didn't make No one that I call a friend has ever owned a slave And neither did our dads or our dad's dads For sakes acknowledging atrocities were wrongly committed Is all that I can offer when I'm wrongly convicted I would never hate a man for what God gave him in pigments And I would never plot against him just because he is different I would never judge a human for the cards he was given Or call him lesser than myself cause of the race that he's mixed with White people that you hate aren't your neighbors or lawyers They're the Rockefellers, Rothschilds, Bushes and Royals They're the people who monopolized the water and oil And injected your communities with drugs that they spoil Got no patience for Nazis, I think they're better off dead They're fighting hatred with hatred making the hate more intense I don't want nothing to do with either side of the fence so don't blindly attack me for wearing braids on my head hate the people who believe you put yourselves in the ghetto hate the ones who teach their children you ain't because they said so hate the ones who think you're all the same and judge you profusely because the way that you're portrayed on our news and in movies being white and being racist aren't the same man i promise no it's hard to tell the difference if i'm just being honest i deserve the chance to show you i'm not part of the problem and you owe it to yourselves we got so much in common white boy don't say that white boy oh you so bad white boy you wish you were black white boy be a white boy white boy 
don't say that, white boy. Oh, you so bad, white boy. You wish you were black, white boy. Dear white boy. Okay, that's the end of the video. Now, I sonically didn't enjoy that song. I'm going to be honest with y'all. Um, but let's address the message. Now, I, I do have some problems with what he said, right? And I don't think, for me, my perspective, right, me as a black man, I don't think that white people are racist just because they're white. And I think a lot of black people recognize that current day white people are not the people who enslaved our ancestors. I think what people, black people really have a problem with is that white people, a lot of white people, I'm not saying that all white people are like this, and I'm not even saying that Tom is like this. I'm saying that a lot of white people don't speak up about the injustices that are happening to black people. And and that has been very made been made very clear up until now, right? I mean, with the Black Lives Matter movement, right? A lot of people are saying, wow, I, I just sat there and I didn't say anything, right? And, you know, a lot of the injustices, I think that's what a lot of black people are frustrated about, like that you see that there's something wrong, that you see that black people are put at a disadvantage. You could say, feel free to debate me in the comment section below. Feel free to debate me and we can go back and forth. But yeah, black people have been put at a disadvantage. And so you, you, when people don't say that, right, they don't state the obvious, right? Or that there is something, there is something wrong with the relationship with the black community and, you know, uh, law enforcement, right? Nobody wants to say that. I mean, now they do, but back, you know, two, three years ago when the song came out, nobody was saying anything, right? It was just, oh, you know, another black man getting shot. You know, it, you know, it's another day, right? Nobody's really saying, well, you know, let's look at the relationship between the black community and, you know, law enforcement. It's not been a very positive thing, you know? And, you know, to be honest with you guys, I could share with you multiple stories of where I haven't been committing any crimes and I've been pulled over by the police unjustly, been told to get out the car, been searched, right, for no reason. And guys, I, this was happening when I was in freaking college, when I was right across the street from the campus, y'all. I never did anything. I don't sell drugs. I don't do drugs. I don't, I barely even drink, y'all. So when black people say that they get pulled over unjustly by the police, they're not making that up, right? And so when he's talking about, you know, he shouldn't feel bad, sure, don't feel bad. I, I think that the problem is that, you know, a lot of white people should feel ba bad about is that they don't speak about the injustices that do happen to people of color. That is what is, that is a problem. And I do have a problem with that because the whole, it doesn't affect you mentality is a wrong way to go about things, right? Because we all are eventually affected by things, right? But that's just my personal opinion. Y'all let me know in the comment section below. I didn't think the song was for me. I didn't enjoy it. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I think the message, some of the things that he said, you know, I could, I can understand where he's coming from, but a lot of it, I'm gonna be honest with you, I, I actually can go against that, you know, um, I get what he was saying in terms of, yeah, modern day white people are not the people who enslaved black people. I mean, I think most people get that concept. Uh, and like I said, you know, him wearing braids and appropriating the uh, uh, rap culture, I guess you could say, I don't think he should be slandered for that. That's just my personal opinion. Like, I, I, I don't think he should be slandered for it because I think that uh, Tom gives perfect homage to the black community for that. And like I said, I don't think he's trying to steal our culture I, I i don't see that but y'all let me know if i'm tripping in the comment section below uh yeah y'all that's just what i think uh <laughs> you let me know if i'm tripping in the comment section but i'ma catch you in the next video oh don't forget to like comment and subscribe y'all we're going up 2020 yeah. <laughs> catch you in the next video peace